Runk. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays are coming up. Look, look who I'm doing it. Look at that. The look way that. I'm holding it. It's just dangling like that, but I also got a nice fat one right there. Originalgrain.com slash lifeline. Dude, I love watches with a nice weight, with a nice heftiness. It makes me feel like a man. Use code LIFELINE for a total of 30% off. They are currently running a 20% off Black Friday deal right now, but using my link and code will give you an extra 10% off. So that makes it a total of what? 10 plus 20? That's 30% 30. off. I knew it. That's the highest markdown you're going to get for the holidays. Uh, it's, you know, it's rare. It's rugged. Burlwood. Check it out. There's a larger face watch. Yep. This one's a little less heavy than this one, but it depends what you like. Comes with a stopwatch timing system and calendar date function. I mean, it's crazy. That one right? I love. Look at that. The, the back one. of the watch Damn. can be engraved. It's actually really cool for like weddings and stuff. Personalized message. Christmas. And look, holidays coming up. You got to get gifts. Who wouldn't want that? Also, it's nice in this personal forum, right? You go, yo, love you, honey. Yo, love you, honey. Engrave it. And they get the Burlwood heftiness right on the wrist like that. Rings. Also, boom. the sunglasses are back in stock. What? These sunglasses, they're back in stock. Now, I look crazy badass in them. You could look crazy badass yeah. in them. You could, you know, be very sexy in them. Yeah. Not just me. They're back in stock. They sold out after the last ads. And we have to talk about it again because they re-upped. They're back. So all you got to do is use the code LIFELINE at originalgrain.com slash LIFELINE to get 30% off. And that's site-wide. Whoa. 30% off site-wide originalgrain.com baby check out it could be silly too not even just sexy but silly so silly and sexy lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only if you need real help or advice please seek a therapist or a licensed professional program because i know what that means and then we'll put on program because i know what that means and then we'll get it to the thing okay great let's do it here we go we're going we're doing it live <clears throat> do it live. <clears throat> no swearing no swearing for the first don't few minutes point at me but no swearing for the first few minutes because okay. you know why i do know why but don't point at me that's like my thing don't push me i'm wearing the merch you can get at crystalia.com <clears throat> anyway it's just like not just sagging <laughs> with my wagon that's never will I ease up so stop okay can... man you know that's dub c and it's so horrible uh you don't what need you to doing? tell me on it's dub c and you definitely don't need to tell them it's dub c because i do such a sick impression that they know exactly what it is pimpin pimpin bada bada bada, bada. Our... booyah booyah ah. okay booyah I, our honestly listeners probably don't even know who dub c is it's true i mean a lot of you people... are the one you are the one dun, dun. when he does this Baby, mm -hmm. you are the one, you are the one, you are the one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That was sick. Well, maybe they know he was one of the guys in West Side Connection. It was Ice Cube, Dub C, and Mac 10. Mac 10, dude. Mac 10, just a gun, you know? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Machine gun. Just actually, an machine actual gun, actually. gun, you know? Yeah. Glock. So dumb to have that name. Gun, a guy. Yeah, gun. So, gun would be um, a sick name. Gun dude. would be good. Uh, yeah, so anyway. I'm changing uh, my name to Gun. Okay. I'm Gondolia. Gondolia? Yeah. Uh, Sounds like gondol ring. gondolier. <laughs> <laughs> One of those Italian boats? Yeah. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, so, uh, well, look, man. You know, it's it's great. Times are great, and it's all good. Ah, I will be so in... Life's unraveling, dude. I will be in Lakeland, Florida. I will be in... Pull it up, pull it up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Uh, I'll be in Lakeland, Florida, wow. Jacksonville, Florida. I will be in Seattle, Portland, Oregon. I will be in New York. I will be in... Uh, San Diego, or as mom would say, San Diego. I will be in San Antonio. I will be in Sugarland, Texas, New Orleans, Providence, Rhode Island. I already said that one. Chicago, Kansas City, Springfield, Tulsa, Austin. There's so many. Just go to chrisley.com and get your tickets. I'm on tour, my babies. I am on tour, my babies. They make great Christmas gifts. I'm on tour, my babies. It's Christmas. Oh. Go pick up your look. Go pick your. Oh, so drunk, it's Christmas. Dude. Go pick up your stuff if you got Lifeline fans. Uh, LifelineMerch.com. Got it right. You got That's it right, you dude. Merch. You got it right. Congrats. Um, or you Congrats can, on uh, not being a Dumbo for once in your life. Uh, good knock swearing. If you got a question, click the link in the description below or go to watchlifeline.com. Or if you want one-on-one -on -one advice sessions with Matt, then just go to mattdelia.com. Mattdelia.com. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1.30 to 5.30 Pacific time. Uh, and let me ask you a question, Chris. Okay. You haven't ever told me this. Okay. But I guarantee I know it's true. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it piss you off when I specify what times I'm available on Tuesdays and Thursdays? It doesn't piss me off, but why do you do that? 
Oh, I'll tell you why. I, I don't but, understand but I, what I why you first off is why it pisses you off. It doesn't really piss me off. A little bit though? No, it doesn't piss me off. Not even a little bit. Okay. But, but why though? Because people, it's really just to get to the Pacific time part. People don't oh, look okay. at the time zone and think it's, <laughs> it, think it's their time Understood, zone. Understood, yeah. Which is a very self-centered thing to think. And so we got a lot to talk about. Especially since they it. probably know you're on the, if you think about it, you're on the Pacific. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody knows where I'm at. My, oops, my effing uh, children. All right, sorry, I already blew it. All my children know. Um, yeah, well, you know, you're, you're, you're Pacific. So we're Pacific, baby. Pacific time. When you book, it's Pacific time. You even have a purple phone case. So, I mean, blending in your shirt, but I might as well put it in the center there so we could see it on the screen. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, uh, QVC. <clears throat> QVC. We have got a beautiful purple case. Let me just show that. Matt will show it to you. Here, look. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Hold it a little bit so it more reflects. Look at the way. For, there we go. Oh, now I get why they do that. Because the way it moves around. Look at that. Now, <laughs> you got grease stains in the middle. That's from his thumb. Okay. No, it's from my fingies. That's from your fingies right there. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. The way you type it. You could type on that that way. You could type on the other way and you'd it's be texting. It's so not true, you know? <laughs> but it is absolutely gorgeous. It is coming right now. If you buy one purple case, you will get a purple velour shirt. You will get this as supplies last. We only have, how many do we have, Phil? <laughs> He's saying we only have 100 left. We're going to dock it down. We want them to fly. But they're honestly, they're <laughs> going a little too quick. So we're going to dock them down. We're going to make them. You can get, now you can get these. You can get another version of this. You can get another version of this for probably $110. This is a better version. <laughs> And uh, we are not going to give it to you for a hundred dollars. Fucking screaming, dude! Just absolutely outright screaming. Here's yeah. here's the thing: if you want this for a hundred dollars, you go to them, right, Phil? You can go to. We can't say the competitors' names, but you go. We are not going to give it to you for a hundred dollars. We are not going to give it to you for ninety dollars. Mm. We are not going to give it to you for eighty dollars. What? We are not going to give it to you today, right now, for $70. We are not going to give it to you for $60. We could give it to you for $50, but I'm feeling generous. We are not going to give <laughs> it to you for $50. We are not going to give it to you for $40 or $30 today. Only today, while supplies last. And I don't know, like Phil's telling me not to do it. We <laughs> are going to give it to you for four payments of 12 cents. <laughs> and they're gone. I mean, they're took, gone just like that. It took purple face so here. long to get to the end, you know? <laughs> With your purple velour shirt. Also, he's you. Have Who? been doing you. Yeah. How can you say who when I say you pointing at you? Yeah, I thought, I thought you were talking about me. He, I'm like, he, who, he, it's me laughing. <laughs> you, wow, wow. Fucking wow. He, who, he, uh, who, you. Okay. Uh, So you've been doing that? Yeah. For? Can't even tell you how long. 23 years? Can't even tell you how long. Probably 23 years, something like that. More, maybe? 25 years? We've got, I would just pick up stuff around the house. Yeah. Look at these glasses. Okay, we've got, and we've got, Reese, we have these. We and we're gonna get we're gonna give them away. We, we can't give them. We're gonna practically give them away, dude. Uh, yeah, you can get this green wall right now. Forty easy payments of two cents. Well, <laughs> just not even worth it. You know, <laughs> that's eighty cents. So the yeah. postage would cost way more. Yeah. Postage costs way more, honestly. Uh, <laughs> that's what they were saying. Uh, so you can check on postage. So Google how much postage is. what else? Yeah, so that, that's what's up. QVC. We're having a good time, though, right? Yeah. Uh, I having ate a, a Reese's Fast Break candy bar. What's that? And I'll tell you why it pisses me off. Yeah, I'm I'm already pissed, frankly. Oh, right, yeah. What's this? That's a Reese's. Sure is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Opened oh, it up. Oh no. Reese's fast break. With the green in it? <clears throat> it's blue. It's fine, but it's just like so artificial. Do 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 what you do already. Yeah. What, what, what's with the fast break thing? People you know what I'm always, talking about? Companies always think new is best. It I is know. not. You, you might get a little bump times. at the very beginning, but if a yeah. thing sucks, a thing sucks. Plus, people want what they traditionally 
Especially when it comes to chocolate. Yeah, they like what they like already, dude. Mm -hmm. Like if they're going to buy a Reese's, they're not going to buy the new Reese's flavor. They're going to buy a Reese's peanut butter mm -hmm. cup, baby, baby. Mm -hmm. pim, pim, pim. Booyah, booyah, and booyah. Thaw. Matt, you know? Yo. What we have to do is, honestly, with the Reese's. Yeah. I mean, Reese's is so good, right? Reese's are good, yes. I don't like the th when they get cute with it, though. They had one with a green center, like the paper, the uh, the peanut butter was uh, green, and Ew. I was pissed. Was it uh, St. Patrick's Day? No, it was like a Halloween thing. It was like it had like, you know, goo, yeah, people goo always, in it, like Slimer or some people shit. People always feel like they want to like change with the times and stuff and do it like that because if you're not growing you're dying i get it but reese's you've been around bro you're well, a hershey's staple. too like what are you doing if you want to have a new thing new flavor start a brand new th thing with a brand new name maker from the, the makers of company. hershey yeah green chocolate bars yes thank and you and these are called greens oh well, wow worse well you would get fired from that room not not necessarily how about be like, we call them greens I, I actually think that would be dope and i'll tell you why Yo, greens you drop. i'm gonna leave you with this i don't want you to answer greens he leaves <laughs> text, text me later guys um don't answer that. that don't answer that they're like no no we don't like it no don't answer now he's um, like not even a higher up you know yeah 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 he's the janitor <laughs> greens hey taking them off the bucket <laughs> dude i think that uh that would be good because you could be like these are the real greens instead of greens that you think you need to oh. eat these are the greens kids love oh, oh sh you're welcome hershey's oh. dude cut me a check man I mean, got you making it at the very end. Cut me a check, man. Yeah. Boy, you got cut me a check, man. So loud. Why are you so loud, dude? Uh, you know, it's like, you know, You're I got to so be loud. And it's like. Loud. I know, but it's like. That's terrible. What? You're doing terrible stuff. What are you doing? Just texting people? No. Oh. And we call them. Greens. Yeah. Well, janitor with the bucket. So the much setup for that, you know? <laughs> so much setup for that. Dude, and we call them, dude, how about this? And we okay. call them greens. Taking so long. Yeah. <laughs> On a carousel. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm <doing it. laughs> you did that for real. Why don't people have fun at work, dude? I swear to God. Oh, because they get fired. If I they know, did that. but it's bull. Yes, that's the radio edit. Wow, wow, dude, wow. it's such horse dash. You know? Wow, and it's wow. like I want having to be a stroke, having a stroke. <laughs> Sneezing, dude. <laughs> it's such off and bullshit. Because I want to wow. be there and have, be having fun, but all my luggage won't let me have fun. Stroking, dude. Dude. You know what I'm saying? I frankly, I do. Frankly. I frankly do. Jimly, I do. Just a name. Wow. So, Brettly? Brett, dude. How the name Brett? What's worse, Brett or Brent? Our friend is obviously one of my best friends. Unfortunately, named Brent, Brent Moore, I'm sorry, but it's Brent. Dude, throwing that extra N in there is just absolutely. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? What is the worst name for a guy? Oh. He just wants to get along in the world in like a normy way. Like, Wally. Wally? Wally's cute though. So Wally's uh, cute. Yeah. Wally, you could spin cute. Cause also it's Walter. That's not that bad. Sure, sure. Walter's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I like Wally. Walter. I like the name Wally. I really so what are you talking Wally. about then? Keith is horrible. No, you know what it is? What? Bruce. <laughs> okay. Wow, dude, on a carousel. <laughs> on an absolute carousel. Oh my God, Bruce. Bruce is bad, but Bruce is Bruce Willis, though. Uh, yeah, he's the only one. He's the only one that stands out. And don't come out with Bruce Wayne. No, 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 no. He's uh, not uh, a real person. Uh, you know? Uh, oh my God. Uh, a caveman. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Uh, well, let's. Shall we? Yeah, shall we, we shall. Dance? Shall we, we dance? shall. We should start. Let's do it. Fell asleep and woke up. So let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the first twofer. Hi, Chris. Hi, Matt. I'm Chris. Oh. And I'm Matt. And we're oh. cousins from Toronto, Ontario. Cool. We have a bit of a pressing issue here. We've been debating about for, what is it, 20 years? 
the most open field. Years. ever since we've been born. And we're just wanting to get your input on this. Whose name is better Ooh. and why? I know my. Wow, that was good. Kept it short. Wow, those guys. Look at the field they have. That was the beautiful. It's I know so, the best so name. Canadian. I know the better name. Go ahead. Okay, I, I do too. It's Matthew. It's, it's not Matt. Them. It's Matt. I'll tell you why it's not. I can tell you why. Do you why. know why I know it's not? What's, do you know why I think so it's wait, not? So wait, you think it's Chris? Yeah, I do. Why? I love the name Matt. Why? I think for one simple reason, Chris okay, is better. Okay, why? Because Matt is a thing and it's a noun and Chris is not. No, no, no. Yours, Matt is a thing. It's like naming your kid Table. Here's why. They're both like very Catholic names. I like the name Matthew a lot. But Matt, here's the thing. No. Christopher, mm. it's like you actually have Christ's name Thank in you. your name. And that's why. And that sucks. It's like being named Jesus. I'm named Some Matthew, which named is Jesus. also biblical, but it's not, uh, mm. you know, I'm not like the central figure in, in, a, in, a, in a religious, you could call it massive cult if you wanted to. <laughs> Organized oh. religion, though, is really what we Yeah, but it. it's not like my name is Christopher. It be, but it, be, it is, though. It's Christopher. It's Christopher if you look at it on paper. So you have a name that looks like Jesus Christ's name, and that's not good. And wow, you're getting so upset. I can't even, oh, he's acting, folks. He's acting. I was misinformed he's acting. He's crying, and it's a good performance, even though he's just not moving his face in any way at all, just doing nothing. Wow. All good. That was good for the what listeners the who doesn't watch it. What? what was the end? You licked your hand. Yeah, because it, it, it fell. It welled up. That's me welling it up. It f forms up too much gravity. Gravity takes it down. Pulls up here. Gravity oh, again okay. takes it down. Okay. My hand comes in to rescue it. Oh, wow. Water. Put it back oh, into my system, that's dude. That's disgusting. The last no, it's not disgusting. It's actually fucking unbelievable. Disgusting. I love how this know, takes 20 saying. seconds before it can go, you know? <laughs> uh, but uh, Matthew's better because it doesn't have Christ in it. And it's not. And it's because Matt is a thing that you wipe your feet on. So it's all good. It's like naming your kid, you know, shit it's stain. It's funny that much. we both like our own names better yeah i think usually it would i think it would normally be the case mm. where brothers like each, mm. one another's names yeah. better you know i don't like the fact that you said that it has christ in it and that's the thing and that makes it bad it's not what it makes it bad so next why one. did it make you mad i saw your face have you have you thought that before yeah that's why i said it well or maybe you just thought of it right now no dude i've thought about it before so it pisses me off that you've you've been holding on to that and you've oh never shared it well, you've been holding on to yours so don't no, be I've a hypocrite you i've told you the thing about the map before I did driving me. <laughs> uh, I did. Nope. I did. I, you know I don't like names that are also nouns like Chuck, Rob, Matt, penis condom. I mean, so redundant. Penis um, condom. Penis condom. You know, there's Billy a lot up. of Phil. Phil. Fill her up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> what else is like that? You got. You gave enough examples. You gave like seven examples. We don't need there's more. There's more. I know there is. Chuck, Rob, Matt, Phil, Bob, Rob. Bob. Um, yeah, there's a bunch. Tomcat. It's not a name. Uh, All right. Foxy. Mm -hmm. Fox. Mm -hmm. It's also an animal. Uh, that's not a, a person. Okay, anyway. All right. Let's do another one. Hey, Matt and Chris. Hello. This is Sophia. Greetings Sophia. from Florida. I love so. your new show. And it comes at a perfect time because I have a question. I need some advice. Nice. Um, I've been a teacher for the past 12 years working in education and studying education. And at 32 years old, I'm considering a career change, mm. something totally different, uh, going to acupuncture school and getting Whoa. my acupuncture license and starting a practice in Eastern medicine. Cool. So I'm feeling a little bit of guilt around it because I know that I'm a good teacher and I feel like maybe I'm letting the kids down or that I'm wasting the money that I've put into uh, going to school to get Sweet. my master's and all the time spent uh, just studying education. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your advice. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye. Go into, thank you very much. Go into, do what you got to do. The kids are going to sniff it out. If you don't love what you do and you want to do something else, the kids are going to sniff it out. You're going to ruin their lives. Here's the thing. You do love teaching, but you really are being called by acupuncture. You got to go with the acupuncture. You got to go where the heart's calling you. You got to go. You got to leave the kids. They'll find, who cares? They're, they don't even remember you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When they're adults, they don't even remember you. Mm. Uh, do you remember your teacher? Very few of them. Yeah, me too. Very few of them. Well, uh, also, how young? 
How young? I remember Miss Harlem. <laughs> who, who was that? First grade. I didn't have her. But who'd you have black, in first right? grade? No, 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 she was white. Oh, yeah. Who'd yeah. you have for first first grade? First grade. So racist you thought Harlem was Ms. black. Miss Gilbert. No. So I, you remember her? And I had Miss Caldwell was second grade. Yeah. Miss Caldwell was black. Miss Caldwell was black? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Miss Natco was white. Did you get mad at Miss Natco? Don't even know who that is. All right. Then it was Benaxis. Oh, Caldwell. Then I, I moved her. to California. It was Finn. Then it was Kerry. Then it was Chayovich. In seventh grade, it's it Russian. was Thor, 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 well, Thor, they were the same. Thor, Thor. All my yeah. teachers were named Thor. In, I, in had, seventh grade. I had uh, Ms. Harlem, Mrs. Beatty, Ms. Benoxis, Mrs. I think I had Mrs. Beatty again, and then Mrs. Uh, uh, that was when I, I came through strong with Ms. Pizzito. That was uh, fifth grade. And then, what about, yeah. did you call her? Um, yeah. But you remember Mrs. Did you call Antoine? Mrs. Beatty, Mrs. Beatty? me off no that's oh would get me <laughs> do you call her that now no i never you could. even thought of that nope <clears throat> it's you not good to do <clears throat> we're gonna go get like restricted this. for that but that's like cool this. so no 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 no. We're gonna oh, get okay, restricted. okay relax, so relax. i think that i think that um <laughs> i remember you remember miss antoine miss antoine was kindergarten now yeah i know that's what i'm saying yeah, so so yeah, yeah. so long ago the kids are gonna remember you and that's fine oh, but, i see what you're saying yeah but you got to do what you want to do. The heart wants what the heart wants, right? That's what Matt used to say all the time. And I and do. You yelled at me for it. Yeah, I know, but I only said it once. You said it a bunch of times. And I feel like Best. you you want to do your uh, acupuncture. Try, at least try to do your acupuncture. Do it. At least do a little bit of it. Maybe you don't like it. Can always come back you, to teaching. You come back to teaching, or just do it on the side. Do a little hustle, right? You yeah. do the little acupuncture. Just start walking down the street. Just start poking people. You know, see what happens. Be like poke, and be like, what are you doing? Be like, well, does your leg feel great? Okay, like that. And they're like, oh, actually, and like why, yeah. why'd you put my neck? Yeah. Why'd you put my neck? He's like, I'm an acupun. I'm in training to be an acupuncture. How's your leg feel? And she's like, it felt fine. And we're like, then there you go. I helped you. I think like, it wasn't hurting in the first place. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, acupuncture too also has helped me a lot. Really, people think of it as sort of a pseudoscience quack thing. It's, yeah, uh, it's I mean, a quack thing. Whatever you make of it, you know. But I swear that I fall into these really deep, like trance-like sleeps. When I no, I'm, when, uh, I'm under the needles and Far. it feels super restorative and I feel better afterwards. And it's just like, Thaw. no, Matt, you, you can't just do that so much on the podcast. I can. People are going to be like, what is this weird shit? Well, I'll tell them. It's like an extension of me when I used to, when I used to say things and go <laughs> afterwards to be cute. Okay. Yeah. So nobody's feelings got hurt. Understand. Now I, instead of doing that, <laughs> I say, Thaw. Okay, I understand. All right, okay. cool. Well, right. you said the n audience didn't know. I, they don't. Okay, so next one. <clears throat> so close. Hey, so man, close. Chris, I'm a big fan of everything you guys do. Thank I was you. wondering what is the best way to tell your girlfriend that you don't want to backpack through Europe, oh. even though that's something she really wants oh, to do. Man. Oh, my God, dude. People who want to backpack through Europe are so oh. fucking annoying, dude. They're so annoying. Yeah, I just, you know what I want to do? I just want to take a year off to go backpack through Europe. You know what? I want to find, they always want to, I want to find myself. Dude, you're right fucking there, asshole. And here's the deal. It's so annoying because you're like, you think you're doing something and finding yourself, but really everyone's just waiting around for you to get back. You're ruining everyone else's life. They're just like, where the fuck is Betty? Hurry right. up back. You're getting all dirty outside. Wow. What are you in a hostel? Well, I mean, making people worry. Your parents are worrying. Go to college. It's not like. Okay, I mean, if you don't want to go, just say that. Chicks always want to do stuff too. They're always just like, let's restore an old car. And then you're like, really? I, I, and, they're like, and then like a week later, you're like, what do you think about that car thing? And they're like, what do you mean? And right. you're like, oh, you want to backpack through Europe with somebody who does that kind of shit? Well, maybe this, let's give this woman the, the benefit of the doubt. I won't. This and I'll tell you why I won't. Because you're going to get out there and be like, oh my God, it's actually so wet out here. Then they can go back and he'd be happy. Yeah, but then he fucking wasted all the money just flying all the way over to Europe, dude. Uh, and he's got a backpack full of shit. He can't even wear his contacts. He's got to wear glasses because he's got a safe space in his backpack. Can't put contacts in there. You know? All right. You know? It's I deeper, think, but it's just like... I think just straight up tell her, be like, that doesn't really sound that great to me. And then here's why. And then just be real with her, like drop all the truths on her, because she's obviously not thinking about the bad things. She's just thinking about how romantic. She's romantic. She's, she's doing romanticizing it. it. Yeah, show her the and... movie Hostel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? This is a look at this documentary. Right. Yeah. Dude, yeah. It, everyone romanticizes everything, especially chicks, and they're just uh, dudes do it too. But women will be like, I mean, that's why they watch the Lifetime or the Hallmark movies. Yeah. They want that love. It doesn't even exist. I watch those too, though. I watch them too, but it's just like they they think like, oh. 
I love those Lifetime movies because the, the couples always start out hating each other for no reason, you know? Right, yeah. They're just like, ugh. Oh, my God. Here, look at here's Dan. Dan is such a he's my he's my enemy. He's terrible. He just got here, and Dan shows up, and he's like, "Hi." Yeah, and I'm like, "Why would you hate this guy?" Yeah, I I love the ones that are like thrillers, like mm. like the bad surrogate, yeah, or like the mom, mom's worst nightmare, you know, yep. a father's revenge or whatever it is. You Hell know, yeah, those are always I like always, the love stories. Always best. good, really. Like the happy ones. Yeah, really. Yeah, I do. That's and more Hallmark They style, make me though. feel real nice. Yeah, I like the Hallmark ones. I, I do like that. But no, dude, Lifetime does like the Christmas ones and shit. Yeah, they Our do. friend directs them, dude. They do. Brian Herzog oh, right. does them. He does, He's got one uh, coming uh, up Lifetime soon. ones? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just Hallmark. I don't know. I thought Hallmark. Yeah. It's the same thing, really, honestly. No, I know not. I know Lifetime is more salacious, but I'm just saying. It's pretty much the same style of thing. Yeah, right. Budget-wise. Uh, and it's just like the... Okay, so. All right. Yeah, don't... I, I, dude, my, always don't go backpacking through Europe. I don't even like when people bring backpacks anywhere, unless you're traveling. They don't mean like on the through the mountains. They mean like going from city to city on the Euro Rail. I know, I know, okay. but the, the real way to do it is through with hostels and shit and like. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's just annoying. I mean, it's called a hostel. I mean, if you're for 20, reason. it's kind of like an adventure. I get it, but like if you don't want to go, just be straight up with her. Then then, it's as they, simple as that. Or she's going to be so annoying and she's like, I'm going to go then by myself. And then he's got to worry about her fucking safety, you know? Just some chick backpacking around like, you know, U Yugoslavia. Mm. And Yugoslavians are just like, but if that happens, hey, what's up, girl? And you're afraid of her being alone out there. Get a ticket as well. Yeah. In case she really is dedicated to going. Then when it's time to go to the airport, you're like, are you ready to go? And then... She's like, oh, I thought I was going to get a car. You're driving me? And, he, she, and then you can just be like, no, I'm going with you, baby. Be the hero of all heroes. What are you doing? Oh, boy. I'm going with you, baby. Dude, I think that uh, that's, you know, that's annoying that she wants to go backpacking. Isn't that funny when somebody that you're with wants to do something you don't want to do? It's like all of a sudden you got to deal with this shit now. Like you have a blister. You're just like, all right, I guess I got to wait this shit out. Yeah, that's... You know what God, I mean? All right, let me let me just let, wait till they stop bucking. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Well, it's a cancer. Now, I'm depressed. now I'm depressed. No, next one. And now a word from our sponsor, Better Help. Therapy has saved my life. It saved the lives of many people that I know that are close to me. It is something that I have always said everyone needs. BetterHelp is the way to go. It's the easiest way to go. Uh, life, it just does not come with a user manual. So when it's not working, it's normal to feel stuck. It's normal to feel like you're in a rut, but BetterHelp really can help. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's actually affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It could not be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash lifeline. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash lifeline. You know what? We're going to take a little break to talk to the audience about, talk to you guys about diet smoke yeah personalize it we gotta be like you guys not the you audience we're guys like y'all gonna talk to y'all about diet smoke if you love thc like i do then you will love diet smoke quite like i do i've used a ton of their stuff recently and i do very much love it all of diet smoke's products all of diet smoke's products are guaranteed to give you the beautiful buzz you've been looking for no prescription required no awkward conversations no sketchy weed deals you don't even need to go to a store you just decide you want THC and they ship it right to your door. I've done it. It's amazing. And all their stuff is always good. All of Diet Smoke's products are made from American grown hemp, meaning they're all federally legal. And each product has a lab test result for potency and safety. You can't get better than that. They got the blackberry and apple cider flavors, right? These are the new ones. They Would, released the new ones. You That's tried what I'm those? Saying. Yeah, I yeah. tried those. And you guys, got y'all got to try them. I never tasted edibles as good as this. Uh, which is the truth, and I am edible king, baby. Uh, one last thing, just one little last little detail you're going to want to keep in mind. They guarantee 100% satisfaction or your money is refunded. You literally cannot miss with Diet Smoke. So if you're ready for that perfect high, head over to dietsmoke.com and use code LIFELINE for your 20% off of your entire 
order. You got to be 21 and older to order. Back to the show. Next one. Hey, Chris and Matt. Love you guys. Love the podcast. I'm going to get right into it. Um, I am home alone for three days with my one-year-old son. My husband's out of town. Mm. Um, Here's what just happened. It's pitch black outside and a stranger, a man who I've never met or seen before, comes up to my front door and rings the doorbell. Uh, At the time, I'm putting my son down for bed. And so I answer on the intercom like, hey, how can I help you? And he tells me he wants to talk about the gospel. (gasps) It's pitch black. Like my camera needs to use the night vision to see him. Right. Very creepy. He has two children with him, which makes it a little less creepy. Both less and more. But why are you here? Like, do you think that was legitimate? Um, I also don't have a gun. Should I get one is kind of my question. Like, should I have done something different? Um, should I call the church and complain? Thoughts, yeah. ideas? Well, how would you have handled this, Bro, this as guy, a this, woman home alone? This is the Thanks, problem guys. with these religious people. They don't live in the real fucking world. Dude. Yeah. You don't knock on a door late at night where a woman's going to answer and she's alone yeah. and you got kids with you. You don't live in the real fucking world. Yeah, dude. I know. Like, there's, there's so many other ways to share the word nowadays. Yeah, you don't get need a to Twitter, go, you fucking you weird knock lurker. On a, on a, at the moment, solo mom. Dude, it's so annoying. Door, the... While she's putting her daughter to bed. Like, what are you thinking? I want to talk to you about the gospel. No. No, dude. I don't care how religious you are. You don't want that. No. These... Uh, that's fucking psychotic. With kids? I've never even heard of that. Yeah, that's weird. They were just like this. Yes, we'd like to talk to you about the gospel. They wanted to go home, dude. He's like, like what? I'd like to read from a scripture for you. I don't have light. She's like, and the kid's like, I'll get it. <laughs> just shooting light, light at the Bible. Yeah. Just beaming it. And that was when Jesus said unto you, do unto the most unto with the river of John. Wow. Unto river. Unto river. They're always doing untos and stuff. Okay. And Jesus said unto his gospel, unto you thy, with unto rule and unto always have faith in yours. Okay. The River Jordan. Oh, my God. Then they'll just throw in the River Jordan or some shit. Okay. Well. And he paddled for six years straight, you know? Listen, you're. That's what it'll be like. Unconscionably loud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It's like. But the Bible will just be like. And he oh, fasted okay. for six weeks. Yeah. And you're like, he would be dead. But he didn't die because he was he did it for his brother, and then his brother fucking brutally murdered him. Well, that's too. not exactly the story, but okay. It's, well, might as well be, dude. I it's mean, an allegory, what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we want to go to the next one? I guess so. I mean, I'm just saying it was, you know, we were having fun with the... <laughs> with the religion stuff did we give her any advice uh, did we give her advice don't oh it, the simple advice is do not enter the door don't answer the door. you did it you, you you got through it this is what you did you did the right thing but honestly if you're going to get a gun get one of those fucking shoulder predator guns to where it's just like this and it goes you gotta go yeah those are good <laughs> and then if he says something go <laughs> right, right, right. Those are good. Those would be good. Dude, you just said, uh, like, I'd like to talk to you about the gospel. I'd like to talk to you about the gospel. <laughs> it's like this. Like a, uh, What's that? The light. The oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, and yeah. then just, uh, and then when you lock the target, <laughs> and he just, <laughs> and he just goes, Right, yeah, and then the ki- and then the kids are, you know, things go like this. Oh no, what happened? Uh, <laughs> and they're looking at it and then they walk away. Dude. The face you make when you do that is so ugly. Well, it's really wild. You got it. Yeah, you know, you got to keep it real, man. It's real wild. How much though. is what I just did? Something that Robin Williams did on the set of Bicentennial. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> hey, hey, and then the, and then the, and then the predator comes and he says, oh, 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 and the kids start shooting light on. Oh, I'm a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hot dog is the best, dude. Wow. Um, do you know what's weird? I brought up Bicentennial Man yesterday. He knows too much. <laughs> dude. <laughs> um, wow. 
you know, dude, so, on fire, on fire. So, <laughs> dude, Bicentennial Man, really? Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds good, my babies. Yeah, that movie's so fucking bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. The posts are satisfied we gave her advice. Chris, now you happy? It's Drew from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I a, firstly am just so glad you guys have your own show together finally because when Matt would be on congratulations for the past couple of years and the brothers would be riffing, it was just the best. So cool. you guys have just awesome. this. Thank you, dude. Honestly, an unmatched conversational chemistry, and it's awesome. So what a just nice guy. Pumped wow, that you guys have your own thing now. Just gush. Thank you. I wanted to ask you a question. I have a, a, a friend who's probably on the scale of zero being complete stranger to 10 being just like would lay down my life for you hmm. probably like a, a six to seven oh, okay. out of 10 friend pretty good um and i want to know how do you tell this person a friendship of that value that kind of like relational equity that they have horrible horrible breath, breath. and that Ooh, I knew it, it I knew stinks it. to <laughs> quite literally to stand near them when you guys are having a conversation yeah um Again, I don't know how to handle it. Like, it's got to be handled delicately, and I just don't have the words um, or the approach. And I think spin moves would probably give it away. That would probably work. be out on this one. But what do you guys think? Be curious Dude, to know. Um, honestly, that's yeah. I can't think of something worse than bad breath. What about stabbing? A lot of stabbing. Nah, I mean, you know, with of that level, that's the worst one. Stabbing is obviously way worse because of how it's. So stabbing's worse. Yeah, but uh, that's not a whole different level. Oh, okay. Um, I think, honestly, that is horrible. Uh, I knew a guy who had bad breath for years, and I was like, do I say something, do I not? And then all of a sudden, it went away. You know, that could be a number of things that isn't is an actual breath, like mm. uh, eating disorders. Mm. It happens to a lot of women. Yeah. And the halitosis, which is what it's called, chronic bad breath, okay? Well, not everybody knows. I know so you don't have to say. Hey, hey, do it. <laughs> um, Been around. But yeah, you get a. Uh, you just have like if you're uh, not not anorexic. What's the other one? Bulimic. bulimic. Uh, I know. Trust me. If you're bulimic, that happens. Like, I've been around women who are bulimic. Who I didn't know they were bulimic until yeah. this happened. Oh, it is bad, dude. Really? It is like rat poison, bad. Oh Jesus. Yeah, Christ. dude. You 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 kiss them and you're like, I just took a sip of rat poison is all is all you can think of you know no i don't like that at all no it's so bad i don't even like hearing about that. it's so bad you're like you it's like you're trying to kiss and not make a big deal out of it you've already you've already exhaled which was too much like even exhaling you could taste and smell it Whoa, do you know what i'm talking about dude. yes something's I that do. bad you can sense it well you just actually have to hold your breath entirely you can't even you breathe out. out yeah you're just like a- yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, I would have passed out if I li- smelled that fucking breath too many Dude, times, too. Y- I mean, you can. the only thing I think you can do is be like, yo, here, you want gum? I got gum. But, dude, you know gum doesn't even penetrate that. Well, it might if you're just standing next to someone. Also, sometimes I think that people's uh, smells affect different people differently. There he is. What's that? He's, he's right. Oh, he's yeah. right, folks. For the first time, he's right about something biological. Woo! No, that's not the first time I'm right about something Woo-hoo-hoo! biological. Congrats, dude. That's not the first time Even I'm right about something biological. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Good job, dude. dude. Good boy. Okay, now. Okay, no. Good boy. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, what I and The reason why I believe that is because these people with bad breath, mm-hmm. that you smell them bad breath all the time, they you, you, they have wives sometimes. Yep, abs- exactly. So what's dude. going on there? So what I also the the way I arrived at this was this one woman who I very briefly dated had this in particularly bad, and I I was like so bad at tiptoeing around it trying to gain information about what other men might have thought about her breath. Wow. Yeah. Well, how so, would you even do that, really? Oh God, I don't even no, remember. No. But yeah, you can't do it without being obvious. Yeah, no. So I was being obvious, but she never picked up on it. She was so oblivious to it. So what would you say? And what I realized is okay. nobody's ever thought that about her. Really? Nobody's ever told her she had bad breath. And I was like, "How many guys have you dated?" And she's obviously many. She's in her twenties. But like, I'm slur, slur. But yeah. But just like, wh- she's an what do you slur. mean? Am I like? It's like you're in a twilight zone. It's just like, wait, no, I smell that. It makes me want to die. Instead of living. Mm-hmm. 
I'd rather be dying when I smell this fucking breath. So, so what? How is the way you tiptoe around it? Can you even try to do that? Yeah, I guess. Let me think. I mean, I, even not. You don't even have to like think about what you did say. Oh, oh, like, oh! It would be like I would tell, make, make up a story oh, about how like I was on a first date and like, oh my god, I was so embarrassed. My breath was so bad, and uh, oh, right, yeah. something like that. You know? Did you, did you think that? Do you think that that ever happened to you? Did they ever say? No, I'd be like, have you, you ever like you know not realized it, but like had like the. Yeah. Worst fucking breath momentarily yeah. or whatever, and she was just like, "No, nah, no, nah, I can't really." You know, oh, really? Yeah, I can't really think of one. You yeah. know, what you should have done when she did that, and she was talking to you, you go like this. No, you just go like this. Oh, really? Yeah. You've never had that? I, I know. I did. You? A, I dated a girl that had really. I had to. I didn't even let it get far because I was like, "Oh, you I was can't." Gonna be, I was gonna be like this every time. You can't. I was gonna be like this every time. That was the weird thing, though. It wasn't every time with this girl. So this sometimes I'd be like, "Oh, it's gone." It was some like thing. So hopeful. You know? Yeah. Uh, and then so have hopeful. you had the opposite to where like the taste is amazing? You're like, oh, this is amazing. Of oh, what are you power? Mouth? What are you powerade? Uh, of someone's mouth? Yeah, dude. No. It's just unreal. No, no. Are you what are you? Fierce flavor powerade? Uh, no, 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 no. Disgusting. No, no, no. I'm saying cause they taste cause they it's like their mouth is just this beautiful experience i know what you're saying but the way because you, you did put a, your mouth uh, 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 no disgusting. i'm saying oh yeah. oh hey nice to meet you power aid <laughs> to, to like because you're drinking her in oh i get it i fully understand it uh i'm just i just happen to be utterly disgusted one time a a, 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 a woman tastes so good that i i was doing that and kissing her and you know dated her for a while that she was like what how come you like because i was just like like really into it and she was just like why you know why is it so much and i was like i just love the way you taste and that person was Kristen. i want to throw up and i'm married to her now so i want to throw up and hearing that it was Kristen actually made me want to throw up a little less <laughs> i'm just kidding i make up the whole thing a little dude. less maybe want to throw or up am i okay anyway Bad situation, dude. I don't even know what to tell you. Yeah, dude. You just got to bring it up, though. You got to bring it up. You ever you, you smell somebody's breath and you're just like almost, you you feel yourself going like, oh. Yeah, totally. Right? And then Sometimes you step outside your bad. body. Sometimes yeah. it's that bad. Like it's Alan McBeal shooting arrows. Dude, there are and these fucking... studies that like when you put somebody in a room, okay, they, the control is you put people in a room with no a neutral smelling room mm -hmm. and you give people something to argue about. Like you get a Democrat and a Republican in a room mm -hmm. and like test like their how much you make them talk about politics mm -hmm. right and then you do the same exact thing but the room has this intensely bad smell of garbage or whatever and the people in the room that smells like garbage are like 800 percent more likely to f get into a physical altercation than the people that are in the neutral smelling room dude it what it does to our brains Whoa. is hectic way beyond what we even realize we Whoa. are so much more irritable it even shows up in brain scans like brain activity is like you're like you're just Dude. set off alarm bells when something smells who like set fucking these bad. fucking these tests up you know i don't know what let's a, do the garbage one come on in and what smell a, bad what a badass though. get a fucking guy who's a republican and a democrat in here and ask him about abortion but get all those fucking <laughs> dis disgusting trash wheel it in yeah go yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know it's you kind of reverse engineer the controls of the experiments there yeah it's I know like, about reverse okay, you don't controls. know shit. All, all right. right, well, let's go to the next you one. You literally don't know shit. No. Okay? That's not true. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? My so far, he, in heaven. UK. We've seen him. Uh, in heaven. For you guys. I want to paint and decorate him firm. Okay, job stop this. First of all, what has he said the whole time, first of all? Yeah. Second of all, <laughs> he's in heaven. He's in heaven, yeah. We, he's yeah. literally driving to heaven right now. Yeah. So what do you do? If you like, killed to heaven, and uh, you're going to heaven, you're taking a one-on-one to heaven. All right, so, so we'll go ahead. Guys, how you doing? My name is Christian DeVos from the UK. Uh, I have a question for you guys. I want to paint and decorate him firm. And my job is basically running around all day, going to the sides, making jokes, and he's doing what they should be doing and have the materials that they need to do their job. Um, but sometimes it just feels so fucking stressful. You know, my, car, my phone is constantly ringing and people are always calling me, causing me problems. Well, not causing me problems, but I have to fix that problem. So I just feel under pressure all the time. I never feel like I get any breathing room. Um, and I... Uh, I know you have a child, Chris. I have two, Craig, uh -huh. but I know that that's an extra level of pressure. And my wife will say to me, well, you need to take time off, so I take time off, but then uh -huh. I take time off because I took time off. When I come back, I have more work to do, so I never really feel like I actually had any time off. And I, <laughs> time off at all. and I just kept working.
Good. Is this Buster Rhymes? So the question to you guys is how do you guys deal with the stress and pressures of your life? Um, and is there any advice that you could give me that maybe would help me in my situation? Um, and I'm not going to do a sign off. What? What, dude? Ma did, did you Marco hear it? No, Marco. Did he did it for funniness. Like a vala, 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 vala. He did it for funniness. He just said, so here's my question. Hit you with what you're saying so with the Leo. It's silly with my nine million with the Leo. That's Buster Rhymes, dude. Chris, what, what was the gist of it? He, he has depression? He has a lot on his plate work-wise. And okay. he's got two kids. Heard that part. And he wants to know what you do to uh, deal with the pressure of work and life all at once. Uh, Honestly, and this is such a stupid answer, I know, but uh, if, because it works, I'm just going to say it. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes, daily... Jerk sesh. Jerk session. No, daily meditation. Just wow. 10 minutes, just fucking make yourself do it. Uh, find everybody has time for 10 minutes a day. It's nothing. Do it in your car, I mean, crying, do it on the subway. If you're in a city, do it in the, in the bus, do it in the car, do it right after you wake up, do it right before you go to bed. It doesn't matter. Just do it. Commit to it. And I know it sounds ridiculous in the first few times you'll be like, this isn't working. Mm. Just do it for a couple of weeks. Okay? First time I did it was actually crazy. You felt good? Yeah, I did. That's what I'm saying. First time. That's what I'm saying. But you're saying you need to do it a couple of weeks, but I didn't. Sometimes you don't need to. Yeah. Sometimes it works right away. And as it did for you. Yeah, it felt really good. I did it. I guess it was like you a, stopped. I stopped. I only did it one time. Why? It didn't make me come. So stupid, dude. Wow. I want to break your neck. I'm and kidding, dude. I know, but I still want to break your neck. Well, that's rude. Slit your throat. Okay. And just watch and like giggle while your blood like pours out of your neck and I'm smiling. <laughs> that's a fucking, the fucking the meme of the dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't believe that guy was saying dude that guy was Mr. Bean okay great cool thanks for the question advice, if that was a question but yeah the advice uh, is get some uh, it's a, the, the, the fact that that was his question and he had paint all over him too just made it like so real oh he's a painter I forgot he said that yeah. he did say that oh yeah. okay yeah. god bless the dude I feel like uh, I don't know man eh. Meditation is a good thing. I would say try meditation. I tried it once and it worked nice. Anything that you can do to center yourself because mm. what's happening is your mm. brain is swirling and I've said this before on the show, I think, but like anxiety is actually something that is good for us. It's what motivates us. It's what makes us do things, makes us competitive, makes us excel at things. But in certain brains, anxiety it runs amok and it's beyond the point that it's useful. It's past the tipping point. So you're suddenly just like fucking overly anxious when you have no reason to be it there's no help to you so just be aware of that and once it's passing that level just be like no anxiety anxiety listen to me no stop roll over a woman's defense class no do you stop do you th end it zebras don't get ulcers is that code zebras don't get ulcers <laughs> <laughs> zebras don't get ulcers because uh, they don't, they don't have anxious. anxiety yeah dude but it's not just zebras and i want to i know specify that animals i'm saying yeah. us as humans there's too much going on we have too much stress we get ulcers zebras don't get ulcers it's what separated us evolutionarily from back zebras. in the day from zebras it made us smarter to be able to worry and plan ahead that's we're where anxiety comes white, from Oops, i'm talking it made us uh, anxiety, nervous about what was going to kill us, what we were going to kill. There you go. Where we were going to camp out for that night. Uh, we had to be able to talk. That's right. These things led to us being as smart and advanced as we can, as we are. But it's been since things got a little easier post-industrial yeah. revolution. Things are a little bit easy. And now we have all these fucking therapists and problems in our lives because we overthink stuff. We have a low-grade anxiety at least all the time because we're worried about things like phone bills right but zebras do not worry about things like phone bills all they do is just absolutely chillax the whole time they lick each other they drink water from the lake the only time they have an adrenaline spike is when they see that hot as shit big lion mm -hmm. that is when they do it. it all get it at once they run away and then they're just chillaxing again dude they're licking each other what's and they're with drinking you and zebras right now like what what uh, uh, triggered all this i'm saying oh because i said the thing about how zebras don't get ulcers but i know but before that, why are you thinking about zebras? I saw uh, a, a YouTube video about a zebra earlier today because Calvin was watching a cartoon zebra thing. And what did the zebra do? Therapy. What did the zebra yeah, do? What was the video? Yeah. The zebra was just like walking around and Calvin cool. kept being like, zebra, zebra. Zebras are cool. So I'm saying, I know that I saw that video. It had nothing to do with this, but 
because I saw the zebra, now I'm using it. I know that animals don't get all sorts, so I said zebras don't get all sorts. Because the more specific you are, the funnier you are. And I'll tell you one thing, I know comedy. Congratulations, I believe you. Funny you say that because that's my podcast and it's okay. comedy. Well, anyway, plugging yourself. Okay, so, so. so one more or, what, or more, more than one more? What do we think? Okay. Yeah, you know what? The close. Hey guys, Beautiful my name's guy. Tanner. I'm from Panic Chicago. Business, I have a pretty interesting situation that I'm the, dealing with right now. Good job. Me and my girlfriend recently moved into this apartment with our oh, German Shepherd Aspen. <laughs> and our neighbors above, who've been here for a while, a nice have spot. a pit bull. Uh, oh, we were sitting no. outside when their dog came down the stairs and attacked our dog and my girlfriend. Ripped up my dog's nose pretty bad. Um, Damn, dude. We ultimately told our landlord about the situation just to keep him informed. And... He told them that they have to leave immediately or get rid of the dog. Uh, so now we're stuck feeling some of this guilt about yeah. the situation. Um, like it could have been prevented and like ultimately some of it's our fault when really it wasn't. Uh, just wondering how we can alleviate some of that tension in the household um, and ultimately just make ourselves feel a little bit better about the situation. So yeah, big fan of the show. Uh, thanks in advance. See ya. What a nice guy. Nice guy. It's not your fault at all. No, yeah, like you, if your dog bites the shit out of another dog's face, you got to get rid of that. They got to get rid of the dog. Yeah, but it he could have been a human. Could have been a baby. Understandably, feels bad because he has a dog that he loves. Mm -hmm. He, and the other person he loves doesn't the dog. want the other person to have their dog taken away. Mm -hmm. But guy. it's like then move. Then, then I understand. Right, that, right, right. But like you can't live in a place where you have a dog that would do something yeah, like that. You can't. So you got to move. There's no reason to feel bad. That person has to move. Right. That's not acceptable. Like you can't. Maybe he just feels bad that he has to. The guy has to move. Sorry, dude. But he has to move even before the attack. Like, I'll tell you something. My dog bites the shit out of another dog. My dog, take a hike. I live where I live, uh, and I'm very compassionate. Uh, okay. Yeah, but also it's different because you would never get a dog that would attack. No, anything. I wouldn't. But that's. A, but you don't know. I don't know. You do. He said it's a pit bull. I'm sorry. Look, I love pit bulls too. I know, but people are gonna get in a lot of trouble. They are very, very. Let's say, if you were to train dogs to fight pit bulls will take to that mm -hmm. much quicker than other dogs mm -hmm. they have a higher amount of aggression and if you want to focus mm -hmm. on that and in in your training of them you can turn them specifically them into killing more machines. than other dogs into animals that kill mm -hmm. uh and a lot of people do do that you and could it's do, hard I do to, it with my yorkies too i just need more yorkies more <laughs> it's hard one. to get those qualities out of the dogs unless you have them from a very early age if, if you have them since they're a puppy it's just mm -hmm. like any other dog yeah you know, you get fifty Yorkies though. They beat the shit out of. Them. Okay, get up! Just, right, 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 right. All of them shit. Just, oh no 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 no! They finally knock you down. Oh, Whoa! Oh shit! Speaking. That's it's that, good. That, that knock would, you down. That, While that happened, I said knock you down. That would be like a which is amazing. Uh, a nightmare, you know. What? Just like ah, 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 oh, covered no, no, by no. eighty Lick, fucking Yorkies. Some of, yeah. some of them are eating you, but some of you are still. Some of them are still kind of licking you and stuff. <laughs> oh no, so, no! You're not all bad. I gotta go get a thing. Okay. It's fine. Leave it. Oh, okay. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I spit a little bit. Barely Others anything. Don't even know. They don't know. They're sleeping. Uh, all right. Um, Wait, what was the advice? Get, uh, I think I said get 40 Yorkies. No, I oh, think Oh, yeah. No, dude, don't, don't feel bad. You didn't do anything. Yeah. That yeah. person, unfortunately, should not be living in a building. That's not how it works. You can't. You need to be responsible as a dog owner. And if you have any dog, pit bull or, or whatever, any kind of dog, it doesn't matter. There are plenty of other dogs that are vicious and, and mean and aggressive that would do that, would have done that to your dog. And if an owner has a dog like that, they can't be living in an apartment building that where there are people with dogs. You're also that is not responsible of the person. You're also a good guy, and that's great. You're a good guy, which means you're a good guy all the time. But you're good guying at a time you don't need to be good guying. Don't need to be at all. Right. So it's just sad. It's a sad situation. It's like someone getting, you know, HIV. That's what they get. What? There's nothing you could do about it. What? You can't. Do, there's nothing you can do about it. But why is it like HIV? Because there's nothing you can do about it. You just got to be like, okay, this is not my fault. Of all things to bring up, though. did he give him HIV? Who? That guy. That guy gave who HIV? He didn't give anybody HIV. Are you sure? A hundred percent, and that's maybe why he did. I mean, he could have. He said, he said, girlfriend, maybe he gets a girlfriend HIV or somebody. I mean, you can. Have, he's walking around with shots and you can get him in the HIV elevator. If you're heterosexual, you, you know about that. that joke when the two guys are in the elevator and the one guy's like, "You got to give me all your money, or I'll inject you with HIV." And the guy says, "No." He says, "You sure you want HIV?" And he says, uh, "I don't care. Inject me with the with the with the with the HIV." And he says, "Okay, fine. Then you should just give me your money." He's like, "No," and he injects him anyway. And he says, "Jokes on you. I'm wearing a condom." <laughs> <laughs> You made that up right now? No. That was a good joke. It's an old joke. That's I funny. heard it once. I mean, I don't know if it's, it's something. It's kind of like un... I don't do jokes. It's kind of like un... It's uncouth. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. I mean, not really. Living on the edge. Is it? I don't know. I don't like jokes, though. I don't like jokes either. 
they all seem uncouth to me is what I'm saying. What? They're in bad taste. Jokes, it's just like, what are you, what is it, 1912? Yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah. And that's how people are always like, when people say like, oh, Chris Lee doesn't even have punchlines. It's like, I don't, fuck punchlines, man. I just By design, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's dork. What am I, a fucking dork, dude? But also, honestly, it's deeper, you know? Yeah, it's deeper. But it's also, deeper about you, you know? no, I don't give a fuck about that, man. I okay. like to go out there and have a fucking good time. Now, yeah, do I cry on stage sometimes? Of course, you know, when I get deep, but like, wow. you know? Come on out to see me, by the way. I'll be in New York soon, chrislea.com, and also crying, Seattle. Crying during comedy show. Portland. Yeah. On my tour, don't push me, or I'll cry in parentheses. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, all right, let's do one more. One more, yeah. One more. One more, my babies. Yo. Yo. Hi, Matt. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hi. My name is also Matt. I'm a huge fan um, of Chris. Son of a bitch. But um, I kind of wanted some advice on Could see his if brain I'm brain. a shitty person. Um, oh, what? I didn't basically, oh, no. the, yes. the reason I think I'm a shitty person is some girl today in my class. So from New Jersey. Um, basically related a poem you're reading to her friend dying of cancer. Oh, so basically what I'm trying to ask is, am I a shitty person for being easily annoyed and irritated by people who kind of like trauma dump onto not strangers, but basically strangers in like a college class? For example, does that make me a shitty person? Because um, I think it might, but let me know what you guys think. Um, again, big fan. Life rips. Hope you guys see this. Thanks, dude. Do you, yeah. Um, so hold on. In her class, she gave up. She was told. She wrote a poem, or she found a she, poem. They were reading a poem, uh -huh. and she, some girl in the class uh, related it to her friend dying of cancer. And he's irritated by that. I mean, irritation, irritated is one thing. If you're fucking going on and on, you can't fucking think about it. Anything else? And you're pissed off that then yeah. But you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're asking the question here. Yeah. So the fact that you're asking the question means that you at least are, you know, looking inward. You know what? I, 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 just, I just got lost in thought thinking about something. I don't like when people ask if they're a piece of shit or a bad person. Like... What, what do we know? Mm. <laughs> You're you, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you ask yourself that. Mm. And then act accordingly. If you are a piece of shit, try to be less of a piece of shit. Mm. But, like, if you have to ask somebody else, I don't even, like, buy the question. Mm. You know what you think, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, also, like, don't be so hard on yourself. If it fucking bothers you, it bothers you. You don't need to carry it with you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, it bothered get... you and then you move on. So you're not a piece of shit. Like you're not a bad person unless you, it's, you can't be a bad person based on the things you think. You can only be a bad yes. person based on the things you Actions. actually do. Yep, can't help it. Uh, or ways you behave in the world, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I was just going to say that. I'm and smart. Sometimes, sometimes things you say too, depending upon what they are, the, the threshold is obviously higher for that. But still, it's like, you you didn't buy the brain that you have. You only have it. So if that shit's going to annoy you, there's no way to make it stop annoying you. So just be like, ah, that annoys me. And just put it to bed right there. Mm. Move on with your day. You forgot it by the end of the day. You get mad at me when I clap at my own advice. I do it now when it's good. All right. Well, all I'm saying is... I clapped for you earlier, dude. Come on. Yeah, you did. But you, when you clapped, you said, I'm finally right about one thing. <laughs> so it's kind of dick right right yeah that's true um yeah are you a bad person you're not a bad person you know but like no you, you i'm sure you weren't like fucking stupid friend yeah in class. Right, 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 right. you internalized it you're just like oh you know like whatever it's all good and uh you know i was pissed off the other day at something going on i can't remember what it was it was like it was a few weeks ago and uh i was like i was with a table of people and i was like i'm so mad right now because of it and they were like and I was like, I f why am I so mad? And they were like, it's okay that you're so mad. You just, you're not saying anything and doing anything shitty. Yeah. So it's fine. I was like, so I just, exactly. I just am mad. And they were like, yeah. So I was like, okay. But once you realize that it passes so much quicker. It passed. I don't know if it would have went quicker or not, but it, you know. I mean, how mad were you, you maniac? I was blazing mad. <laughs> I was blazing mad. It was had to do something with a waiter. I can't remember what it was. I can't even remember anymore. It was this nine. The point. It was nine. Uh, there was nine people at the table. Uh, oh, they the forgot my problem. food and they the didn't do it problem. right. Yeah. And then they had to redo it, and then they redid it wrong when I said it right in the first place. Ah, you know what it was? He was one of those waiters that came by and was like, what would you guys like? And you're just waiting for them to get out the thing to write it down, and they, they don't, don't do, do it. it. And then they fuck it up. And then they forgot my shit. And it's like, dude, I'm not impressed. Not I'd rather impressed. you just write it down all the time and always get it right 
then not write it down and get it wrong even once for somebody. Moreover, here's a list of things that would impress me but, uh, if you're my waiter. Here's a list of things. You ready? Mm -hmm. Absolutely zero things. True. The only things that you can do as a waiter is fuck shit up. Fuck up. Yep. And if you don't fuck up, you're an amazing waiter. Yep. And That's if you true. do fuck up, you're not a good waiter. Yeah, dude. It's like, why don't you just try fucking unicycling over? Like, oh, wow, I don't give a fuck. Bring that me my food. wouldn't matter. Yeah. I know, exactly. They balance it on their nose. Who would care? Just no, don't give a fuck. Matter. Just like, yeah. can I take your order? Hi, can I take your order? Yeah, I don't. Oh, cares? wow. Oh, we don't care. I'm not a cuda, dude. Yeah. Just bring the fucking salmon and that's it. I'm going to fucking carnival, dude. Just give me a... F They're spinning the plates on their fingers. Don't care. Don't care. Put it down. And here's the other thing, too. When they say shit like, oh, uh, you know what would you like and you say it and you're just watching them listen and they listen and they repeat it back to you and you're like okay yeah i guess you got it and they're like great i don't want to have to be like great just write it down go get the food bring it back and let me eat my salmon dude write it down why are you not writing it down because they want it it's like a classy place it's like a nice place it also wasn't that classy of a place it was attached to a fucking hilton for fuck's sake but why is it classy to not to not have to write something down that's not classy because they want people to be like wow they didn't even write it down oh oh dirty notebook whatever the fuck they but don't who need to thinks, think who thinks wow is my point nobody 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 the owners own us show me love up in the club lost your mind no nobody nobody that's what does that. nobody uh, nobody uh, you imagine seeing a way to write it down you're like ew yeah i mean who gives a fuck dude it's gonna I like be right it. i want them to write it down a matter of fact maybe it's because they don't want them to be uh that you could always blame it on the well we sorry we don't write shit down so i fucked it up because if they write it down and fuck it up what does that deserve well that means everybody in the back fucked it up uh -oh. wow what is this actual, again what is this it's the gatling oh oh, oh, oh. the predator has that no well he has one that is kind of just a but i made it a gatling one like oh in, such a nerd the I way know. you said that you know but yeah, I made it a gatling. It makes thing. me laugh because it's, it's actually just makes me laugh because he has, doesn't have a gatling gun. He, it, but <laughs> but I installed one in my fictitious world. So. Right. Yeah, it's a crossover. It's a Delia uh, Predator crossover. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Delia versus Predator. So stupid. Uh, oh, we're done. Dude, I love how they make those movies Aliens versus Predator and shit. And it's just like... It's not Aliens. It's Alien versus Predator. Alien versus Predator. Yeah, yeah right. I know. Okay. But I'm just saying they should do one that's like, you know, another one. Oh wow! Fucking trailed off at the end oh, so dude, much. Man, you know it's like it's AVP, dude. Alien versus Predator. I know, you know my what good buddy is, was in dude. fucking Freddy versus uh, Jason. Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, yeah. the mashup movies yeah. are never good, dude. No, just never good. They should do one, uh, Alien versus Sylvester Stallone from Copland. Wow, that would be hey, so. Hey, there you are. Also, he's deaf in that movie. You know, play with oh, that. Yeah. Play what? With that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't hear you coming, and I can't see it because you're invisible. Wow, good impression. You're doing some good ones today. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is over. Worst sounds of all time. All um, right, everybody. Thank you. Right. We love you. One-on-one -on -one advice sessions with me, your boy Matt Delia. Go to mattdelia.com. Every time you see on that website is Pacific Standard. Time. So what you're gonna do is remember that and not not remember that. Thank you. You go to watchlifeline.com to uh, if you have a question, you can get the merch at lifelinemerch.com. You can also get this fantastic shirt that's absolutely butter soft at chrislea.com. Wow. And then also you can uh, go on to uh, my website chrislea.com and get them butter soft tickets to the road. Man, I'm gonna be in you know New York, Seattle, Portland, San Diego. Butter soft. Stop saying butter soft. Thanks, guys. It's disgusting. Whee! Hello. Hello.